Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Like I said, part one. Um, uh, recording this on Friday and we post it on Sunday, like usual. And this Sunday is Christmas, so hope you guys have a hope you guys had a really good have a really good Christmas and stuff. And that's one of the reasons why I can't record it on Friday, just because I got a busy um next few days with Christmas and stuff. So, so this will be posted on Sunday, as usual. So, and like I said, the uh for part one too. Thanks again. It's been two years now since starting these videos. And I love doing these weekly diecast videos. I'm not going to slow down at any time soon, so. Anyways, let's get into uh, what I found this week. Let's crack open some cars. Starting with the Audi E-Tone. Which is pretty cool. New Matchbox pass into the collection. It's a pretty cool Audi. Like that front end. That blue. That rear end's pretty cool too. Your basic de decals, that's all you need. And it's a pretty cool uh, Audi. Can't complain. It's a pretty cool uh, SUV crossover. Yeah, it's basic, but it's pretty. That's a, I like basic cars like that sometimes, so it's a cool one to add. Next up is the Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40. Always a cool cast to add. And Cool to find new one from the main line. It's a pretty cool truck. No front decals, but other that side decals there. No rear. It's a always a pretty cool casting. I always like getting this into my collection. So yeah, it's a pretty cool FJ. Glad I find this one. That one's pretty cool. Next up, is casting I like to collect is the Jeep Wrangler Superlift. White. Always a cool casting. I collect this one, so. Just a cool Jeep. Like those rims. No front decals. That's okay over here. But I like the super lift Jeep Wrangler. Looks pretty cool. Just one of those really cool Jeep castings, so. Yeah, I'm glad I found this Wrangler, and it's just cool looking. Yeah, it's just a pretty cool one, too, so. Gotta add that one to the collection. Next up, the last like, mainline matchbox, the 1984 Toyota MR2. Cool to find, find this and add it to the collection. I just wanted this casting added and finally found one. It's a cool Toyota MR2. Love those rims. That's front decal, which is pretty cool, and rear. It's a basic uh, Japanese uh, car. I'm really glad to find this one. It's really nice looking. And, um, yeah, it's just a cool looking Toyota MR2, so really glad I got this added to the collection. Next up for moving parts is the Toyota FJ Cruiser in gray. Cool to finally add this to the collection. I do like this casting. Or a real car, I always want to have one of these in the collection. It's opening doors, which is cool. It's front decals and rear. And it's a pretty cool uh, FJ Toyota. Yeah, it's a pretty cool casting. So I'm really glad I found this one and added it to the collection. So it's pretty cool. Glad I found that. Next, number two five packs. Starting with uh, this first one, the Hot Roof Circle Tracker. Really nice five pack. I like this one. Gotta find it. Start with favorite to least favorite. One car I really don't care for though is the uh, fast gassing. It's okay. This is not a car I really collect, but still pretty cool gas truck. So that's pretty cool. Next up is uh, Maxim Leeway. It's like a late model, basically. It's pretty cool looking. No complaints. Just a pretty cool, uh, like, dirt style car or, and stuff, so glad to find that one. Next up is the Buick Grand National. Cool car. 
This casting's not the best Grand National ever, but it's pretty cool. Rims are okay. I'm a fan of the uh, brown rims, but still pretty cool casting. I like the blue Grand National, so this is always a cool one to find. So that's a cool car. Next up is the Camaro Z28. Pretty cool. Not bad Camaro casting, not my favorite. That's pretty cool casting. I like the way it looks and stuff, so. Yeah, that's a pretty, one, pretty good one to have added to the collection. Last up is the 74 Mustang Mach 1. Do you like this collect? Do you like this car? Those rims are pretty cool. I like that blue two on top. Just a cool Mustang. Glad to find this one. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. So, yeah, that's a cool uh, Mustang to add to the collection. Next up is uh, another five pack, the Motor Motor Show five pack. Really excited to find this one. I've been looking for it for a while. Cool to finally find it. Start some castings from this one. Starting with the Cascado, whatever it's called. It's a fantasy casting. I like this one. It's okay looking. Looks like a hyper car. It's pretty cool looking for a fantasy casting. So nothing too crazy, but that is pretty cool. Next up is the Aston Martin 177. Pretty cool casting. I like the rims. This is a cool paint scheme for this car, so it's a cool one to add. The 177. Yeah, that's a pretty cool car to add to the collection. Cool Aston Martin. Next up is the Lamborghini Countach pace car. Pretty cool. I like those rims. The stripe down the middle is pretty cool. The light bar is okay. But I also like the Countach. It's a pretty okay casting, so. Yeah, I like this one. Nothing too crazy, but still pretty cool. So, yeah, glad to find that one. <clears throat> Next up is the 2016 Ford GT um, <clears throat> Le Mans style race car. I like this one a lot. Those rims are cool. I like that paint scheme, the white uh, wing in the back. That's a really cool casting. That Ford symbol there. This is a cool one. I'm really glad to find this one. I like this Ford Mustang casting a lot, so. Not Mustang, Ford GT casting. So that's a cool Monster 4 GT. Last up is the 1967 Ford, Ford GT 40 Mark IV. And this one's really cool as well. Like the paint scheme on it, like the rims and stuff. No rear decal, but that's okay. Still really cool car to find, so. Yeah, glad I find this Ford. So, that's a cool one to add to the front of the collection. Next up, some mainline Hot Wheels, starting with the Ultra Ego and Hot Wheels Racing Delivery. Okay, casting. It's like a dragster hot rod. It's pretty cool looking. Nothing too crazy. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Next up is the Dodge Viper SRT10 or ACR. Hot Wheels Racing Delivery. Another pretty cool casting. Like that white there in the grill. That's one decals. That Hot Wheels Racing skin is pretty cool. Red rims are cool too, so. It's a pretty cool uh, Hot Wheels Racing team. Dodge Viper. So I'm glad I found this one. So, yeah, that one's pretty cool. Next up is the Shelby Cobra 427 SC. And Hot Wheels Racing Delivery, but this one in yellow. I always like this casting. This one's pretty cool. I like those red rims, like the yellow Hot Wheels Racing Delivery. This one's just cool. I always like this casting. So, yeah, I'm glad I find this one. It's a pretty cool Shelby. Next up is the 959 Chevy Impala. So glad I find, it, find this exclusive. Cool casting and stuff, and I wanted to find this one. 
Lilith and Paula casting the for the nine and Paula. The blue is a lot nicer than I think when I came out before, so it's a pretty cool casting. I like the way it looks and everything, so this one's cool and great addition as well. Next up is the 70s Horde Escort RS 1600. Another casting that they collect and it's really cool. Nice rims, I like that front end. Pretty cool paint scheme on this, rally scheme, so it's a really cool car. Really glad to find this one. Looks really nice. So, nice escort, really glad to find it. Next up is the new Hot Wheels 22, 2022 casting, the 1988 Pro Stock Thunderbird. Really cool casting, really glad to find this one. Love these dragsters, and this is a cool one to add. Nice front end, like the rims. Is that chrome inside? The rear end's pretty cool. It's a cool Thunderbird. Really glad to find this one. So, yeah, that one's really cool. Last up, when you want to find from the set, and I want this whole set, it's uh, the Chevy 70th anniversary Chevy Scenery concept. Really cool car. Lilith's Corvette. Just really cool. Love that white, the open canopy there. Rims are pretty cool. Overall, it's a pretty cool Corvette. Can't go wrong with the vet, so that scenery concept has always been cool. So that's all I found this week. Pretty cool. Good haul. Like I said, part one, there's actually might be a special one this week um, as well, so there might be one more haul video for 2022. Then it, and then Next next weekly diecast haul with the first one for twenty twenty three. So thanks for these following these videos all year and stuff. They're not gonna slow down. They're gonna continue into twenty twenty three. So hope you guys like this video. One more videos like this, please like subscribe and notification bell. See you guys in the next video and hope you guys have a good great Christmas and I'll talk to you guys next time.